First of all, congratulations. But 2016, and it's here. It's here. Finally, finally. We're not skipping a year this year, Frank. That's right. Thank goodness. Uh, so uh, here it is parked right here at, what, Pier 21? Just this big old boat. Um, what's the most exciting thing when you pulled into Galveston with this? Well, I wasn't on it, number yeah. one. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, it's exciting because we're here for Mardi Gras. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great time. So I got to come see the boat in Galveston and got to come down for Mardi Gras yeah. all on the same weekend. So it's pretty special. So can I get some facts and figures out of the way? I've read 150 million, 252 feet, seven staterooms. Am I close? Frank, I thought we were talking about Mardi <laughs> Gras. Nobody cares about this yacht. <laughs> all right, you've said well, enough. Well, we you've are, said enough. We you've are said on enough. the yacht. We are on the yacht. So, um, so, so far, since this is a new boat for you, so far, uh, what's the most favorite part of it for you? I mean, honestly, all of it. I mean, I'm very thankful and, and appreciative that I have an asset like this. And it... It gives myself and family and close friends a lot of enjoyment, and, and yes, it's great to have. What all goes on on this boat for Mardi Gras? Well, we have a party on the boat before the, the uh, San Luis salute where all the duchesses, we have kind of a pre-party for the MoMA's board and, and all these beautiful duchesses the, the night before, and, and uh, and then we have a couple of events, you know, throughout yeah. the weekend. So it's pretty special. So family and friends all show up and just have a great time. Yep, yep. Well, I know Galveston's got to be very proud that you would bring it here. You know, I mean, I, I think it's, a, it's something that we can all say, hey, did you see the boardwalk right there at the end of the pier? Well, I mean, this is my home. This is where I grew up, and, and, you know, it's always been a great thrill to sit there and own those hotels and restaurants right in front of Adler Circle where I grew up and I played, and, you know, it was more than just a few years ago now. I can, used to say, oh, just a few years ago, but it's been a few years now, but it's, it's, it's always a great thrill to be able to come back to your hometown and enjoy it, especially, especially a city as special as Galveston with the tradition and the history and everything. Well, we know you love Galveston. Well, I know you love Galveston. Yeah, I, do. I mean, think I do. about how often we even run into each other down here. Yeah, it, it, so. it, it's often. And I've been coming here for 30 years and, and you for 30 plus. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're older than me, Frank. I know, I <laughs> so, um, so what, what does, um, what, 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 where does it go from here? What are you going to do with it? I mean, you're not just going to bring it to Galveston. Are you going to go, like, different, I guess, different places? Yeah, I mean, this is, it's already spent time. And I, I just took delivery of this boat during the pandemic. That People don't realize a, a, a boat like this uh, is a four- to five-year process. It takes 18 months because it's all custom to design it and engineer it and then two and a half years to build. So it's like doing a, a major project of any type. And so this was ordered, you know, gosh, back in, in 16. And, and of course, you're taking delivery of it right in the middle of the pandemic, you know, and everybody say, oh, look what he went out and bought during the pandemic. No, I bought it long before right. and it just kind of happened. And, well, I know that you, I think you're pretty instrumental in decorating and designing all of your hotels. I know the Post Oak, you were, I mean, you're hands on. What about the, the yacht? Were you probably, did, did you pick out? probably even more so. Really? I, mean, I, I had the same designer. This is my sixth boat, but the, the architecture, the layout, you know, the bars on every floor, you know, th those kind of things and the right. spacing. And, and then, of course, all the colors. I mean, if you look at all my stuff, there's always a lot of similarity in it. You'll even pick up things in here that you'll say, gosh, that kind of reminds me of the Post Oak or yep. something. So. Well, that's why I, that's what made me think of the question, because it actually does. You love these sort of creams and grays. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and they all I'm kind of, kind of a creamy kind of guy. <laughs> <you know? laughs> well, so um, six years, were, were there any obstacles where you went, oh, I've got to figure this out? I mean, I know Bill, I've built a couple of houses and there's always, there's always problems here and there. When you build a, a basically a, a, a mansion on the water, there's got to be quick decisions and, 
and we well, just got to figure it no, out. No, there is. I mean, it's no different. There's no such thing as a as a construction project that goes easy. I mean, people go add on a closet to their house or an extra bath, and they say, "Gosh Almighty, it's 20 percent over budget," and right. and it took two months longer than yeah. than I thought it was going to take. There's nothing easy. You fight problems all along, but that's what I do every day is fight issues and problems, right. so they can only aggravate me so, so many hours in the day. So this was just a little bit more aggravation than I normally have. How much time do you think you'll actually get to spend on this? I know you're you busy. know, not near as much, but you know, it'll be in Europe during the summer and you know, we all love hanging out in the med during the, the summer and then you kind of keep it close by. You keep it in, you know, the Bahamas and the Miami area and Palm Beach area and then you'll have it in Mexico. and. And then you'll take it to other parts of the world, Greece and, and uh, Croatia. And there's just so many gorgeous areas in the world. But don't get to spend near as much time as I'd, I'd like to spend on it. You'll, but you're never going to stop working. You're never going to like just take the boat and not work anymore. Never, never. I mean, that's just not what I it's do. You, but, I but, what's, but what's great about this boat is I have a, a, an office in it. And, and you have communications around the world. Anything you're able to do at home, um, you know, so I'm, I asked for a flexible schedule these next couple of years so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I can work from the boat. And I'm hoping the boss allows it. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we all know about that today. So, uh, but when, when I'm on here, I, I'm always working 24 hours a day. And, and you know, you have the Wi-Fi and the communications as if you were sitting in the middle of Houston at home. So, so you could do a Zoom call in the middle of the Mediterranean. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And you just, know, you just you just conduct work, and people don't even know. You know, before I haven't wanted somebody to know where I am, and you just go find a corner like it's just a wall and, and you don't show the beauty of the yacht you just act like you're in your bathroom at home <laughs> <laughs> just do, do the thing so um did you did you say you know what I, I don't know much about yachts and yacht design but did you say hey you know what i think we should put a swimming pool on the yacht or is that sort of a thing no no absolutely that that's all when you build a custom yacht like this that's all on the owner and so I knew exactly what it, I wanted where. And it's just like my aft deck back here. It's been the same design on every one of them. I did it on my first one back in 2000. And there's just certain things that I continue to do on every one of them because I'm comfortable that way. Well, and they seem to bring people together. I mean, looking from what I've seen, they're designed so that a group of friends and family can all sort of be close and comfortable. 100 percent i mean and and that's every deck you know that you go on so where are we now you're in an area of the boat called the beach club so this is an area that was created that somebody did a few years back and a lot of your newer larger boats have i don't know why you know i just don't like the word yacht so i say boats and yeah. people say why are you calling it a boat that's what i'm comfortable saying but it's 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 great and the sides fold down as you see right and you can't do it on this side because we're at dock right now but normally this would all this be would open. all be if you're out anchored out yeah because when you get a boat this size you you don't you're not usually like i'm in a commercial dock here where right. i dock the other boat you you couldn't put it so a boat this size is is always usually anchored out and and then and you, you dinghy in. and you dinghy in yeah. you know in, on the tenders, tenders yeah. yeah and you have a limousine tender that's covered that's air conditioned that and then you have an open tender because you know you're going out to dinner you're anchored out it's a little rough women don't want to get their hair messed up sure. or get wet so it's kind of what you do on these right so this is the boats beach club so yeah. we have tell me what we have here well i mean this is a fun area it's fun at night because you're at the water level but but you, you you could see over here where we actually took some of the toys and made them art and you have a workout area you have a steam sauna over here and of course you always have a bar <laughs> <laughs> lots of drinking on these boats that's the beach club part right <laughs> yeah so i and i noticed that i mean it almost looks like a museum where you have all the scuba gear ready to go it it, it it's kind of unique in it. and the yeah. first when you come down here you see all of that yeah. and it is it's all got its perfect little place do you scuba absolutely do you? yeah That's yeah awesome. I, I learned how to scuba dive in 1972 
in office by you right here in Galveston, Texas, where you could only see 15 inches in front of you. <laughs> I was going to say all six <laughs> feet of office by you. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. I learned in a hotel pool in Aruba and then, and then just went in. No, that's yeah. what you do. Yeah. yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. So. And so, um, so what are your, I mean, what are your favorite things to do on the water other than when you're off the boat? Like scuba and. and yeah, yeah. I enjoy everything. You know, I, I love eating on the boat. I love getting off the boat. I love just hanging out, uh, you know, sitting by the pool, sitting. There's so many different areas to go. You just kind of different times of the day, you use them all. But it's kind of funny how you pick up and this has become kind of a late night area. You know, I'm, this is kind of like the midnight to four in the morning area where, 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 where you're on the water level, it's opened up, the breeze, and it, but, you and can yeah. watch the fish. And remember, this boat has like 112 underwater lights. So when you're anchored out in the Caribbean or the Med, you can see so far out. And even if you're in 40 feet of water, you can see straight down. And, wow. and so it's kind of fun. Yeah. And we're, we're at the bottom of the boat here. I mean, for believe, believe, believe it or not, there's a, there's a whole nother level below us wow. that, that doesn't have um, uh, windows. And it's called the tank deck. And that's where the laundry is and the big commercial kitchen. Usually a, a boat this size only has one kitchen. And it's usually just a commercial kitchen that, that, that the family and guests don't go into. I'm a, believe it or not, I'm a really normal guy and I have a typical family kitchen just like you would have to hang out in, but yet we have a commercial kitchen downstairs. Because remember, with, with a crew of 22 to 24, and if you have 16, 18 guests on here, you're talking about 40 people. Right. And so, and you're three meals a day. And so, not only do you have a chef, you have a sous chef. And the midnight and so, before snacks, too. And right, never <laughs> stops, it never stops. <laughs> so this is where you really get the size of this boat. Yeah, you, you know, everybody talks about the length of a boat. Right. But, but how you measure it really is also the beam and, and then the tonnage. And, and if, if you always want to act like you, you, when you start talking about yachts, yeah. okay, an beam. amateur asks the length, the guy who really knows says, what's the tonnage of that yacht and what's the beam of that yacht? What's the tonnage <laughs> of this yacht and the, the beam of this yacht? This, the, this has got a 40 foot beam and it, it's an 1800, almost 1900 ton yacht. And, wow. and where my other one that you know, you've been on before was only 500 tons. And it's oh, wow. when you say tonnage, it's not by weight, it's, it's by space. It's how tonnage, it, it's volume is wow. how it's measured. This is just a great joy to be able to sit out here and, and enjoy this. And uh, you know what's amazing is, is that when the boat moves, there's this water goes into a tank four levels down and then it fills up again in just a few minutes and it keeps the temperature you want it at and everything. Wow. So it's a pretty sophisticated pool. This is where you get a sense of just how grand this boat is. It is. You, when you're, you're up here on the crow's nest now, and, and this is where you look at it and you say, gosh, it's really a ship, you know? <laughs> and, and I would take this across the Atlantic. Yeah. Uh, and uh, because you really can feel the, 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 the size of it, the tonnage of it, the volume of it. So, so why, um, why'd you keep the same name? I'm curious. You know, it's a great it's, name. It's kind of a name, and it's when I did my first one, and I was building the Kima Boardwalk, and and it, it's it's kind of something in the yachting world that, you know, you hear the name Boardwalk, everybody just knows around the world that that's Tillman's boat. Right. So oh, the helicopter goes everywhere with it. Really? Yeah. No, no, the helicopter will go across the Atlantic with it. So you just tie it down. Spring. They just tie it down, and and that's what all this equipment is down here. And, and you tie it down and you cover it up and it just goes everywhere with you.